Hey all you Fallout fans, have I got a mod for you. So in my previous video, I compared Fallout 3 and New Vegas and talked about which one I preferred. And despite my large comparison and how I felt that one game was missing something that the other one had, I was able to agree that both games were missing a lot of a single element, the Enclave. And I also mentioned at the end of the video that I had found a way to correct that problem in Fallout 3 somewhat. It's called the Enclave Improvement Project. So what does this mystical, magical little improvement project for the Enclave let you do? Well, it lets you not only join the Enclave, but help re-establish them as a prominent power in the Capital Wasteland. At least that's what the mod says. Now, in order to start the mod, see where that little red arrow is pointing? When you're talking with Mr. President Computer, you gotta select that dialogue option. That'll start the quest. And then, of course, you can go through the rest of the game as normal, you know, watching Liberty Prime kill your soon-to-be friends, killing Colonel Autumn to get him out of the way, and please, for the love of God, do not give the FEV vial to Elder Lions, and make sure you put it in Project Purity. Otherwise, the mod won't work. So after the end game, and you wake up inside of the Citadel two weeks later, yes, the mod requires broken steel. After speaking with Elder Lions, you are given the option to join the Enclave via a little pop-up screen. You did select join the Enclave, right? Then you need to head back to Raven Rock and to Colonel Autumn's room, which is located right beneath the President, and then speak to this guy, Sergeant Mayfield. He'll tell you to recall all the Wasteland patrols, so do that, talk to him again, and this is where the fun starts, as you're given the quest to take over Megaton, Tenpenny Tower, and the Citadel. Now, there's one of two ways that you can do this. The first option is to go up to the people who run the place, i.e. Lucas Sims or Tenpenny, talk to them and convince them to let the Enclave move in. If that fails, you can just shoot them. It's probably not a good idea to take the latter option, though, because once you join the Enclave, all Enclave members become friendly towards you and will help you if you get into a fight, which in turn will cause them to massacre the settlers of Megaton. So your best bet is to keep talking until you convince the people. Now this sounds like a really awesome mod, right? Well, yeah, in theory it is. But in terms of execution, at least this execution, it didn't exactly come out right. Now, taking over Megaton worked, but what you're seeing right here is actually an older save. On the newer saves, I couldn't even get Megaton to work. This door that you see right here was also locked on my older save, yet unlocked on my newer save. And when commanding Elder Lions and the Brotherhood to stand down, which in turn would have made them hostile and non-essential, they didn't even turn hostile towards me. As a matter of fact, I could give the order to stand down on behalf of the Enclave and still help the Brotherhood fight the Enclave. And third off, I couldn't even kill Sarah or any of the other characters that you were supposed to kill in order for the Enclave to move in. And lastly, when trying to talk to Tenpenny about letting the Enclave move in, the dialogue option didn't even appear. And this brings me to the second major issue of the mod. The mod requires you to have completed Fallout 3 in a certain way, i.e. not blowing up Megaton and killing Roy Phillips and his followers during the Tenpenny Tower quest. It contains no workaround should you have chosen to complete the game any other way. However, even after killing Roy Phillips and his followers, and convincing Tenpenny to let the Enclave move in, nothing. This is what the tower should have looked like. So, as it stands, I'm kinda stuck, and I really can't do anything more with the mod. So overall, I'd say the mod is worth checking out at least. I mean, it's an example of what could have been a really awesome alternative way to play Fallout, but until the creator addresses the numerous bugs associated with it, and offers a workaround should you choose to either blow up Megaton or overrun Tenpenny Tower with the ghouls, and of course fix that whole Brotherhood of Steel bug, you really can't do much with it. Unless, of course, you just want to turn the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel friendly towards you and be able to blaze right through broken steel and its damn near impossible final mission, but aside of that, it's really maybe just worth a quick look or two, but it doesn't really hold any long-term value. And making matters worse is that it seems as though the creators stopped working on it. So hopefully can, someone can at least fix the bugs in there because 
if this thing can be fixed and all the bugs ironed out, this could be one of the best Fallout mods ever made for those looking to join the bad guys.